It's time for Kai Reacts Andy moment, and that. Sorry for what you guys just heard. I can't contain it. I have to let out one and that at least a day. Otherwise, I will implode. But today, I want to talk about the Lost Ark ad. This is something really weird to make a video about. I feel like, but it is something that I want to talk about just because uh, I thought the ad was pretty cool, but also a little disparage. And I kind of wanted to talk about it because it feels pretty good that like the company's putting money into you know investing into its ad advertisement. So they made like they put a lot of effort into making this ad, uh, but I feel like it kind of missed the mark, and I want to share my opinions on it. But before we jump into it, you guys know what's up, baby. If you enjoy the content, sub the channel. If you like the videos, be sure to like them and check me out on Twitch, baby. If you're hearing my voice right now, I'm already live, so be sure to click that link in the description box down below. And lastly, join the community Discord. It's full of a bunch of incredible gamers for whom to hang out with, chat with, and play some video games with. I would highly recommend it, dude. Check it out. Let's jump into this video, baby. So I've never really made content like this before. I'm not sure if I should watch the video with you guys or not watch the video with you guys. So you guys might see two different versions of this video, and I don't know which one it's going to be. The first take will be me actually watching it. <laughs> so I can see middle-aged man receding hairline on brand. He's smiling. First mistake. First mistake is right there. No Lost Ark player looks like this. There is not a singular person who plays Lost Ark who sits at their desk and smiles as they're launching the game. I feel like the visual expression of someone playing Lost Ark would be something along the lines of like anxiety mixed with maybe a bit of sadness. Like, you know what I mean? Like a paleness, a bit of, uh, you know, a little maybe dryness of the mouth, uh, watering of the eyes is what I expect for the average Lost Ark enjoyer. So you got the boys on their desk, okay. We got all the homies racking up. We got the homie on the couch here. I swear every single time, every time, every time in, in Brel G4, when somebody, when the breaker isn't in their spot for yellow white mech, I promise you this is the guy who's not getting there, dude. This is the guy who's literally on the other side of the map of where they're supposed to be, dude. This is why you wipe is this dude playing on a couch. We got some Chaos Engine mobs, okay. We got Esther weapons, okay. Little spoilers for North America. Esther weapons soon, surely. What are we running? I've got Tortoy, cute, cute. Shushire, okay. More Chaos Engine mobs. Let's get it. Okay, the world's saddest doomsday. Oh, <laughs> then we have another Chaos Dungeon mob. Okay, okay. All right, all right. My ready. The game's like five FPS on their screens for some reason. And then the world's saddest sidereal. You up for one more? Hell yeah. Very cute. Very cute. Lost Dark! Join the anniversary celebration! Alright, I wanna talk about this a little bit. Now obviously there's a low hanging fruit. There's things like, you know, oh well. You know, there's five people inside of the party, right? There's like five people when everything in the game is either four or eight. Uh, there's the meme of like, I don't know, the game launches way faster in the ad than it actually does in the real game. Like the game never launches this quickly when you're actually launching it. But this is all low hanging fruit. I want to talk about the ad because I actually think the ad, it looked pretty good. I'm going to be honest. I think it looked pretty good. It shows they spent a ton of money on this. And I feel like that's kind of where... I feel a little sad about the ad. First off, the fact that they're all in desks, I think, you know, whatever. It's the motif for it. I get it. It's all gamer showing, trying to show off gamer culture. Sure, man. I, I vibe with it. Uh, I think it would have been cool since they, I, I personally love live action trailers. I think it's really, really cool. I love when a company does it. A company does it really well or used to at least uh, was Bungie with Destiny. I, I, and if you guys remember the original Destiny trailer, that was fucking awesome. Um, and again, I don't want to like nitpick the hell out of this. I don't want to be like an actually Andy. 
But it would have been cool if they just weren't in their chairs, but whatever. They're in, they're in gamer chairs, they're freaking flying around, dude. Maybe they're all Twitch streamers, and so they all overreact over everything, right? But I feel like this is the part that makes me feel like they kind of missed a mark. They literally showed off Chaos Dungeon mobs, right? They spent a ton of money having a company animate this entire ad, right? And they just showed off Chaos Dungeon mobs. When you see the the floor shake here, right? Whenever what this dude comes in, you think like, oh, is it going to be Vaulton, right? Because Lost Ark has a lot of really cool Legion commanders, right? They could have shown off Vaulton, Vicus, Clown, Roshaza, hell, even a Khan or Thamine, right? But they didn't. They showed off literally a generic Chaos Dungeon mob. And then after that, they show off like, I, I guess it's like supposed to be like Sulfus auto attack, like... It'd be interesting if they actually showed stuff from the game, right? Show off actual skills from the game. Instead of like that like stinky little like fire, or whatever you want to call it, that you know, she shot like little fireballs out of her desk. Why didn't she drop a giant meatball under her heads, right? And I think the coup de grace that really made me feel like this was kind of feels like this was made by someone who doesn't play the game, is whether this was supposed to be like a Zerker attack or a Sidereal, it doesn't really matter. It kind of starts as a Sidereal. Why didn't Thyrain come out? You know what I mean? Why didn't we have a Sidereal? Why wasn't this Thyrain or Nineveh just absolutely obliviating a boss, right? And one of the bosses that we actually know and love, one of the ones that are super cool because Lost Ark has these massive cinematic set pieces, right? And you're paying a company to draw your models and to draw environments anyways, right? Like this is getting paid for regardless. It feels like this was made by a company that watched a video of what Lost Ark looks like, and then they made their interpretation of that video. This doesn't feel like it was made by people who play Lost Ark. And again, there's a bunch of reasons of like these like analytical, like, oh, this is wrong and that's wrong. It's more just like, listen, it's a commercial. It's not meant to be perfect because we know what's wrong because we play the game. It's not meant for us. We already fucking play Lost Ark. We're already in the fucking FOMO cycle. Dude, there's no escaping. We're trapped. <laughs> this is meant to draw on new players. And the thing that drew in a lot of new players was this video. This is St. Tone's, this is how hard is raiding in Lost Ark, or this is raiding in Lost Ark. And he opens it up with probably, I'm gonna be honest, probably the best cinematic entrance to any single raid in the game. The entrance to Gate 6 Broshaza, where she shoots the cube up into the sky, and then you fight her in space, right? Why does he show this? Because this looks really fucking good and i actually just realized those are the cubes you fight in uh in gate four i never realized that goes into the portal i'm gonna be honest <laughs> I had no idea until watching this but this is the perfect example of setting the price with showing something that you know will capture an audience who has no fucking idea what the fuck you are showing them they have no idea that in like a minute they're gonna have to hold dps and they're gonna be depressed we didn't know this. We saw this and we were like, Shit, are you fight her in space? Because we were ignorant. We didn't know. And so just showing us cool things will pull us into the game. Now, the last thing I want to show off is this BDO trailer. This is actually what made me want to prompt and make this video. Because the day before the ad for Lost Star came out, uh, I watched this on stream. And a bunch of people in my chat were like, what the hell? This class looks crazy. And... Uh, I feel like this is something that Pearl Abyss does really, really well. They show off the best part of their game. For those who don't know, BDO is essentially a game where you just farm Chaos Dungeon. This is a... I'm not even kidding. This right here is what you do a lot of the time. It's either PvP or you do this, which is essentially a Chaos Dungeon. You just run in a crop circle over and over, mobs respawn, and you mob farm. That's what you do in this game. The combat in BDO, however, is probably the best of... I'm going to be honest. The only thing that has any but combat tighter than this is probably fighting games. It has very, very, very good combat. And so in this ad, they show off the best part of the game, the combat. And showing this to a bunch of people who have no idea about BDO in my stream, a lot of people are like, is it a BDO angle? Hold on. Because this shows off what BDO is good at. Combat. <laughs> and they're not showing off anything crazy. They're literally showing off mob farming and it gets people excited. This is the importance of having good ads and also the people making the ads having a good understanding of the source material. I know this isn't the hottest take in the world, and I know that probably every single Loa creator is memeing the fuck out of this trailer. 
But I did want to talk about it because realistically, look, I don't think, yeah, Amazon's fucking stupid. They're shit. They don't want to do anything. Like, I don't think that at all. I think they're doing a great job and, and, you know, whatever. But like, and it does look like the trailer, they actually did put money and effort into the trailer. It just seems like it's important to have people making the trailer that play the game because this looks like they sent over a dossier to some other company. And inside that dossier, there was a bunch of their creatures. And maybe they watched a small video on what Lost Ark looks like or something. And so they just picked whatever things looked cool to them in that in that portfolio without realizing that they showed, they literally drew two Chaos Engine monsters <laughs> to try and suck people into the game. I think stuff like this is important because obviously making ads is super important, right? It's, it's literally, <laughs> so like we'll bring people to the game. But Lost Ark's a pretty hard game to get into for a new player. And it can be a bit of a daunting task because a lot of the media, a lot of the uh, information around Lost Ark, uh, I think would be pretty scary. I'm going to be honest. A lot of people might feel like there's no point or it's impossible to get into or it's impossible to catch up and all these other things. And so I feel like it's really, really, really crucial for the company that makes the game to actually, uh, I don't know, make the best, show off the best parts of the game. I hope you guys liked my little rant. I really want to talk about this just because this was a couple of days where I guess I was exposed to all heavily to the effectiveness of ads, I guess. I don't know. And this ad coming off for Lost was a bit of a kick dubbers. Um, but I want to hear your opinions. How do you guys feel about it? Do you guys agree with my takes? Do you guys have other takes of your own? Uh, are you all sentient beings with s separate opinions? Share them in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching today's video, guys. As always, I appreciate the fuck out of you. Thank you so much for hanging out. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, if you enjoyed the content, be sure to sub to the channel. If you like the videos, be sure to like them and check me out on Twitch, baby. Because if you're hearing my voice right now, your utterly obligation comes to stream to say, Hey, Cody! If you ever made a Schmegma sock, I would be a founding father. I'm sorry I've cursed your day. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Lila! <laughs>